Every time somebody types something into Google, Google pays attention. So in this video, I'm going to share with you some tips and tricks to build your SEO keyword worksheet based on what people are typing into Google, so-called Google Suggest, as well as a couple other tools that are built upon the Google Suggest engine. Let's get started. Welcome back. We're going to be looking at Google Suggest, uh, which is really one of the more fun tools uh, in the SEO toolbox. We're going to look at how people type searches into Google and use this for our keywords. The code is 2999, so 2999-B as in boy, and that's going to get you to all the goodies, all the fun stuff um, that I'm going to be looking at. So let's just sort of start, let's sort of understand what we're doing. So let's just open up a Google search box. Let's make sure we're not signed in. So uh, whenever you're doing the SEO, make sure you see the sign in, which means we're not signed in because we want to look at the world the way our customers see. And here's what Google suggests is. Just start typing. So let's just start typing pizza, P-I-Z-Z-A, and stop. That right there is Google suggest. Now, here's where the SEO implications come in. These are driven by what people are typing into Google. So it sort of reflects the keyword search volume, and most people are kind of lazy. So if they see what they're looking for, they'll, they'll click on this. This is called Google Instant or Google Suggest. So people will start searching, and they'll go, oh, yeah, I'm really hungry. Uh, Pizza Hut coupons, that's what I want. Or, you know, it can be something else. Type in industrial fans. Industrial fans. And you'll see there, oh, industrial fans direct, industrial fans on Amazon, etc. So this is a way to get at that. Now here's where you can do some really interesting things. Type in industrial fans A. Oh, industrial fans and blowers. We're going to add that to our keyword list. Industrial fans B. Industrial fan, fans, you know, Brisbane, Bangalore. It's locations. Industrial fans E. Industrial fans on eBay. Exhaust. Then you say to your marketing buddies, hey, do we sell exhaust fans? Oh, yes, we do. That's a great keyword. Let's go over here and put an F. <coughs> industrial fans for sale or for rent. For barns. Who would have thought? What else can you do? Go to the beginning of your search term. So let's just take a different search. Let's take CRM software. So let's type in CRM, CRM software. Now here's interesting. Go to the beginning space and type in A, B, go through the alphabet, E, D, F. And you can see here, oh, download free CRM software. This is a good way to build your helper keyword. So that's Google Instant. Now let's go look at Bing. Bing has the same thing. Go to Bing, bing.com, number two search engine or number three depending on who you count. Type in CRM software. Gives you some wonderful suggestions. I don't know if the A thing works. It does. So the AH thing sort of works here. The beginning does not work on Bing. You can't go to the beginning of it and type in A space or something like that. It doesn't really work. It's not really as useful little bit there, but not as much. The end is very useful. So Bing and Google, those are your Google Suggest, your Bing Suggest. Now you can have some fun with it. Why are men so... okay, that's what I thought. And then you have to be gender neutral because we are in the Bay Area. Why are women so... same sort of thing. So you can use this in a serious way. You can use it in a fun way. Google Suggest is a great way to build your keyword ideas. Now I have some tools that are built on Google Suggest that are really, really good tools. Uber Suggest is one of my top 10 tools. If you haven't taken our top 10 video, please sign up and take our top 10 video. Uber Suggest is built upon Google Suggest, and you type your suggestion in here. So you type in here, industrial fans, fill in the CAPTCHA, and it'll populate this with a wonderful list of all the Google Suggest entries. It's a great tool. That's a really nice tool to look at. Another one that's built on Google Suggest, which is sort of an all-in-one, is called Suvel. So you type in here, industrial fans, and then look at how wonderful this tool is. It populates the Bing, the Google, the Amazon, the Yahoo, 
the YouTube, and then you get all of these wonderful helper ideas. Oh, for rent, for sale, oh yeah. The size of the fan is how people sell. Set, search for it. Blowers, this is a great tool for getting those keyword ideas out on paper, especially your helper words. Especially your helper words, okay? Now, let's talk about Google related searches while we're here. So let's go back here, let's type in CRM software. Hit our search, scroll to the bottom of the page, and you'll see related searches. More good clues on high volume searches related to that core keyword of CRM software. So people are looking for comparison, small business, reviews. What else can you do? Drill down. Oh yeah, CRM software for small business. Don't forget your Google Suggest. Hit your space key, that's sort of helper words. This is great for blogging, product pages, etc. Go to the bottom of the page, more suggestions, more related searches. So this is very much ways to get and build an extensive keyword list and then go back into the original tools like the Google Keyword Planner, whittle these down to your uh, better volume. So again, all the materials are on the website. Uh, very simple, some really cool ways uh, to build your keyword list. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you subscribe to our YouTube channel.